Also looking forward to hear what Jill Bellin has to say this morning. Hanging out at the Dome, not talking hockey, talking curling. Talking curling here this morning, you guys, and the Briar is in full swing about halfway through here on your Tuesday morning. The first draw at 8.30 this morning, uh, but lots takes place before that actually goes down. So I'm being joined by Bob Laycock this morning, who's the vice chair. Good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, good morning. I know you're, you have long days and uh, late nights and certainly lots to manage here. So let's talk a little bit about what goes on here before the first draw. Well, we're, we're prepping up for the first game. Uh, the, the fellows have been in since about 6 o'clock this morning, and they're getting it all re-flattened, and they're pebbling, and they're getting, getting it all set up for the first practice. It's about 8 o'clock. Okay, so the curling ice is actually sitting on top of hockey ice, and this is a, a fine science. Oh, it is. It's an art to, to put it to what they, uh, what they do out there right now. Uh, they're getting so so good at it that it, it is getting to the point where um, anytime anything else happens with the ice it gets to be a little bit of an anom anomaly mm -hmm. um, it's they're they're very good at what they're doing there yeah the best the best in the business here and uh, the best here taking to the ice so let's talk about what goes into planning an event of this scale here in Calgary well we've been going since May last year we've got between six and seven hundred volunteers that have been put in place. We have a pile of directors. We have a pile of committees. Uh, the, it geared up a little bit more in September, October, when the, this this season's curling season started. Then we went and uh, took about 250 of the, the volunteers, and we went up to uh, Winsport and did the Continental Cup. So the same people, and it's myself, uh, Shannon, and Brenda are the vice chairs. We all took a third of uh, the volunteer work, and we've been sharing it uh, for this event. And then those people, uh, whether we burnt them off or not, uh, how it happened, we did the best we could. We had a very good event up at COP. <clears throat> then we progressed and came down to the Saddle Dome, which is a wonderful venue and uh, and we've been working uh, towards putting this one on and uh, I think we're about six days seven days from completing okay and as vice chair no job is too small what do you have to do after this interview well I, I <laughs> the biggest thing is is we're trying to make people understand that there's you know there's still a lot of good tickets left it is a different atmosphere being at the at the uh, event and being here live um, and it's 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 wonderful. I know it's it's all over on TV. Uh, it's worth coming down. I know you've got your tickets for I Thursday do, yeah. and for Saturday. Uh, I don't think uh, until you're here you can really understand the kind of feel and, and the uh, atmosphere of this curling crowd. Yeah, I'm excited to see a curling event here, and you can check it out. There are still tickets available. Big matchup tonight as well, as Team Alberta will be taking on Team Canada, and that takes place at 6.30 p.m. So we're going to take you through some of the other fun events that are going on this week as part of the Briar festivities. Guys? Team Alberta yeah. taking on Team Canada up 6.30 tonight.